The true size of Jupiter is downright massive. In fact, it's so big, you can fit all the planets in our solar system inside Jupiter not once, but twice. Despite its prominence in our solar system, there is still so much we don't know about the gas giant. Scientists are given limited options to study Jupiter right here from Earth, but what if there was a way to get even closer? What if we simply flew a spaceship straight into the planet? If we were to do that, it seems like SpaceX's newest vessel, Starship, would be our most viable option. But even SpaceX and Elon Musk know that this wouldn't have a pretty ending. And this is because rather than going straight for Jupiter, they have signed a contract with NASA to fly to one of Jupiter's 79 moons. In today's video, we're going to explore all of our options to get as close as possible to Jupiter. What would happen if we try to fly straight into the gas giant? Why is NASA wanting to visit Jupiter's moon? And how can Starship help unlock the mysteries of this tremendous, massive planet? Make sure to stay until the end, because you're not going to want to miss this. These questions loom larger than ever lately because Starship is now scheduled to get incredibly close to Jupiter in the future. It was recently announced that the NASA Europa Clipper spacecraft will fly to one of Jupiter's moons atop a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket. That gives SpaceX another major contract worth about $178 million and it also gives people a reason to assume that SpaceX might be flying more than just the Falcon Heavy to Jupiter in the near future. The plan is to have the Clipper blast off in October 2024 from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida and then race to Jupiter by April 2030. When it arrives, the Clipper will give NASA the most in-depth and intensive study of Europa that we've ever had. It will perform more than 40 flybys on the Moon in a period of about four Earth years. Originally, the Europa Clipper was going to fly on NASA's space launch system. The SLS is NASA's next Moon rocket and is designed to take massive payloads deep into the darkest reaches of space. It is more powerful than Saturn V and is promising to be one of NASA's greatest, most stunning achievements. But because of multiple delays and budgetary issues with the SLS, Congress decided to rely on a commercial spacecraft to carry the Europa Clipper. Enter SpaceX and their Falcon Heavy, who were eager to pick up where the SLS left off. This selection means we will get a ship closer to Jupiter than ever before. It also means we are probably only a few years away from a spaceship, maybe Starship itself, traveling to the planet. And what would that look like? In short, it would look rough, very rough. And while no planet in our solar system is as friendly or hospitable as our home, some planets are worse than ever, and Jupiter is one of the fiercest, most vicious planets around. What makes Jupiter so downright terrifying? Well, the fact that it's a gas giant surely doesn't do it any favors. You see, Jupiter doesn't have an actual surface. It's not a planet that humans can walk on like Earth or Mars. But that doesn't mean that Jupiter is just a massive cloud floating through the darkness of space. It's composed of helium, hydrogen and other elements that wouldn't be very inviting to any traveling astronaut. If Starship were to take the trip to Jupiter, it would find a gigantic planet that would be incredibly hot. As the ship and its inhabitants get closer to the planet's core, they would experience an overwhelming feeling of pressure. That's because as you push through the atmosphere of Jupiter, the gas grows denser and the pressure becomes more and more extreme and painful. 
Pressures on Jupiter are over 100 times more intense than anything we have experienced here on Earth. But that's only on the outer reaches of Jupiter. At the innermost layers of the gas giant, the pressure is an overwhelming 2 million times stronger than sea level here on our planet. And as for the temperature on Jupiter? Well, it's not a trip to the Bahamas, that's for sure. The temperatures on Jupiter are actually hotter than the Sun's surface. But that's not going to be the end of our problems. If you thought the pressure and heat were bad, wait until you get a load of the radiation. The radiation on Jupiter is immense and unparalleled anywhere else in our system. That's because Jupiter has a powerful magnetosphere that charges up the particles within the planet. So, if the atmosphere and scorching climate doesn't get you, the fatal radiation will. It's obvious that no human would be able to spend any time on Jupiter. So, why would Starship even attempt to fly to Jupiter in the future? Perhaps humans would want to establish a space station near Jupiter or one of its many moons. Or maybe it's just mankind's natural desire to explore the unknown. Whatever the reason, there is no doubt that someday, somehow, we will make our presence known on Jupiter. And if we do, Elon Musk's Starship would be a great way to get there. That's because there are few creations that rival Starship. Starship is actually two pieces of one puzzle the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy rocket. Paired together, this incredible space vehicle is capable of being navigated and manoeuvred unlike anything that's come before it. The Raptor engines that power the ship would help propel Starship on the long journey to Jupiter and they would also allow the ship to flip, turn and move in ways that other ships of the past just weren't capable of. With contracts in place to fly to the Moon, Mars and around the Earth, Starship is proving that it's the best way to travel through space with or without passengers. There is no doubt that Starship would be able to make it through the toughest stretches of space and make its way to Jupiter unharmed. But even this beautiful, resilient ship would face some incredible challenges on approach. SpaceX would have to make some major adjustments. If Starship was able to get through the pressure, heat and radiation, it would be able to see Jupiter up close and personal and give the best portrait yet of the terrifying planet that we know so little about. Would it be challenging? Yes. Dangerous? Yes. But so much of space is. Thanks for watching. And while you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more exciting space content.